Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Atoll camera bracket by Silence Corner. And recently the guys sent me out a couple of these units to try and just a disclaimer, it's not sponsored, I'm not getting paid for this or they don't have any input into this video. But like I said, they did send me a couple of these out to give a, to give a test and I've got to say, this has to be the best accessory that I can remember. I mean, the normal progression used to be a simple Arca Swiss plate on a ball head, and that was just a nightmare to switch between uh, portrait and landscape orientations. And the natural progression was go was to go to an L bracket. And anyone who's anyone has used an L bracket for the past, oh, God knows how many years, but that's sort of been the, the go-to thing for, for photographers, landscape, astro, any sort of photographer really, but there were some massive drawbacks with, you know, just using an Arca Swiss plate on a ball head or using an L bracket. And this little thing here just solves the lot of them. Plus with some massive, massive added benefits for us astrophotographers. So let's jump in and have a look at it. So like I said, this is the Atoll camera bracket by Silence Corner and you guys would have seen plenty of TikTok, Instagram reels, posts and all those things about this bracket. It's, it's going crazy right now and for good reason. This thing is phenomenal, but what is it? It is simply a camera bracket. So it's no different to an Arca Swiss plate or an L bracket in the fact that it attaches your camera to your tripod or tracker. But man, this thing is just... It's so unique and when you see the reels and TikToks and all those sort of things and you're trying to wrap your brain around how this thing actually works, it just sort of bends your brain. <laughs> and it's not until you actually get your hands on one and sort of get your head around how it works. It makes you really appreciate the simplicity of the design and yet the genius of it. And if this doesn't win every design award that's out there, I'll be shocked. So, like I said, it's a camera bracket simply attaches your camera to your tripod or tracker, but what else does it do? So, straight away, we can now go from landscape to portrait, piece of cake, which is which in itself is just phenomenal. It's just so easy, no more taking your camera off, fumbling around in the dark, simply undo the locking down screw, portrait, awesome. What else does it do? So. For me, this was a big one for me when I was setting up my twin camera rig, and it is having the ability to hang your camera and still have your camera in the right orientation. So, in the past, if you had your camera hanging underneath your tripod, or for me, underneath um, a bracket on a twin camera set up on a tracker, your cameras are upside down. Now, that's fine for the image, because the image will just flip over, but for ease of use, having all your buttons in the right orientation when you're fumbling around in the dark is just, it's so good. I did originally set up my twin camera setup without these Atoll brackets <laughs> and I was like an amateur in the dark with all the buttons being up upside down and back to front I was fumbling around like no one's business so this solves that issue. The other thing it does and it's really really important for us guys who are using trackers is it balances your gear a lot better and I guess if you guys are using gimbals that really helps you guys too but man this balances out really really well so on this on this setup here, I have a Sigma Art 20mm 1.4. So it's a big, heavy lens, and it's on a really light camera. So it's on an A7R2. And as you can see, it balances really, really well. And that is simply because the mounting plate is at the front and your camera mounts at the back. So it's just shifting that, shifting that center of gravity so everything balances, it balances out a lot better. Cable management. Let's jump in and have a look at what it does for us in cable management. Now, the way the Atoll mounts means that we've got full access to every side of the camera. As you can see, everything's available. So the battery port, all the, your microphone port, HDMI, all those ports are fully accessible, not covered in, in any way with the Atoll bracket. Now, when you look at the, the L brackets, the L brackets, as you guys know, cover over a lot of the ports. Now they do have holes so you can still access those ports. The problem actually becomes when you go to actually use those surfaces to mount on. So if I mount this L bracket in the portrait orientation, which is how I shoot, you know, 99% of my panoramas, what you can actually see is, oh, first of all, with a 40mm lens and a Sony A7S camera, the balance is shocking. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really, really spoiled using those Atoll brackets and getting used to the balance. but. 
as you can see, we're only grabbing a tiny, tiny section of that L bracket because the rest of it has got to have a cable coming out the side. And this has honestly worried me for years, having such a small clamping surface area, holding such big lenses, <laughs> I'm surprised my gear hasn't actually fallen out and come crashing to the ground. So that's an awesome, an awesome feature about the Atoll is full access to all your cable ports, um, including the battery one. So for me, I use a dummy battery and a power bank to power my old Sony cameras because the battery loss terrible. So it also gives me full access to that as well. And not that that's a massive one for most people, but when I was setting up my twin, twin camera rig, having the cameras mounted upside down meant that I didn't actually have access to the battery, the battery compartment. So to change batteries, I physically would have had to take the camera off, change the batteries, put it back on, where with the Atoll, everything is just accessible. Get to every single part of it. Awesome. So who are these Atoll camera brackets designed for? In my opinion, anyone who's got a camera and a lens needs one of these things. Honestly, they're just that good. And I feel sorry for the guys who are mass producing your brackets because I think they're about to go out of business. Um, these things are just that good. So if you jump on their website, you'll be able to match the right Atoll bracket for your camera, your camera brand, because each camera brand does need a different Atoll bracket based on the sizes of the bayonet and the offsets front to back. Uh, to where that bayonet is so just make sure you match the atoll bracket to what camera system you, you guys are using and when you're on their atoll website you'll be able to see some recommendations about lenses so not every lens is going to work with this system just based on the diameter of the lenses themselves but at this stage every one of the lenses that i currently own works with this system they don't recommend big heavy lenses like telephoto lenses um, and even the sigma art 40 lens when i was setting up my twin camera rig the guys over there actually recommended not to use them um, but I'm stoked to say that I've had zero issues and it's just a testament to the engineering and the build quality of these things that I can set up such a big heavy lens, balance it out really, really well, have zero issues so far. Um, so that's absolutely awesome. I'll link the website in the description below. If you want any cool merch like this Astro Shooter shirt, which is based on a very famous restaurant, jump over my website, check out all the gear over there. I hope I've given you guys plenty of things to think about, and as always, until next time, cheers guys.